Alright guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. We've got some massive news today. We've got a fi official announcement in-game download for the next big Dokkan Festival celebration which will be Bojack. Bo full Power Bojack, Bojack and Full Power Bojack will be arriving into Dokkan Battle very shortly. Actually, I'm going to give you guys the release date. Pay attention guys. So for us over here in the UK, it's actually going to be on the 1st. On the 1st, which is a Monday at 6.30 a.m. For you guys in your states, in the states, it's going to be on midnight, the 28th. So it's literally three days away, guys. Three days away, we're going to get the official announcement and everything in-game. We've already got the download and we're ready for the big celebration. Now, most of you guys are thinking... What's in this celebration? Why should I summon? Okay, well, here's a look at the actual summons banner itself. Here's a look at what's available on the banner. We've got brand new Dokkan Festival Bojack. I'm going to explain to you guys why he's so amazing. We've got Zangia, a brand new banner unit, which is arriving with Bojack. We've got Tech Ultimate Gohan now. They might change some of these things up because Tech Ultimate Gohan just came to the uh, global side of the game along with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta celebration which you can still summon for right now if you guys haven't pulled Gogeta or Tech Ultimate Gohan or at least grabbed him for coins go ahead and grab him for coins because he's definitely worth it we're going to have a return of Bardock uh, he's absolutely amazing Dokkan Festival unit uh, Super Android 13 or Android 13 which goes into Super Android 13 Future Gohan he did, hasn't been featured on a lot of banners uh, Future Gohan He's amazing. We've got both future Gohans here. They have not been featured too often. So this banner is amazing to summon for me because I do not have future Gohans rainbowed. Heck, I don't even have a dupe in my future Gohan. I've only got him on his own. So this banner is really good for me. Uh, I do expect either the Tech Ultimate Gohan to be changed or the Bardock. So what could they change it with? Probably the Kefla here or golden freezer we could get into golden freezer put on this banner instead uh, that is a possibility out of the dokkan festivals that they do have to choose from so there are some interesting characters here there's definitely a good a banner if you have not uh, if you want these characters um they haven't been a lot of these characters which are featured on this banner have not been uh, on the global side of the game too often so this is a good banner especially if you haven't summoned um for the uh, future Gohan banner if you didn't summon there then you got a lot of good stuff here This is a good good value banner because all these Dokkan festivals are excellent uh, This Super Saiyan Gohan works excellent with the future Gohan here um, Super Android 13 is underlooked, but he's amazing. He's really really good uh, Bardock as you guys know uh, any uh, Wicked bloodline category enemy. He's smashing them tech ultimate Gohan. You're gonna need him For later on down the line. You're gonna need him He's the strongest defensive unit in the game. Uh, Zangya, we still have yet to know what to do. I'm going to check out what Bojack does. So, here's a look at Bojack, Murderous Overlord of Bojack. So, he's a space traveling warriors category leader and time travelers category leader. Now, time travelers is a gigantic team. It got even bigger with the uh, announcement of heroes units come to Dokkan. And we've had loads of heroes characters coming to Dokkan. Now the most amazing thing is this guy's a support for space traveling warriors and he's quite good defensively. He's a strong defensive character. So his leader skill, he gets space traveling warriors three key and 170% to stats. So he's another 170 lead. We only got a few of those in the game. And time travelers get three key and 152 stats. Uh, his super attack is raising attack for and defense for one turn, which is a 30% increase cause immense damage to enemy which is his cosmic bomber and his passive skill the cosmic ruffian attack and defense plus 100 percent space traveling warriors category allies key plus two and attack and defense plus 30 percent when facing one or more enemies plus an additional attack and defense plus 10 percent when facing two or more enemies plus an additional attack and defense when facing three or more enemies so he's excellent for um world tournament i'd say uh, but you don't really want to use him there and he's excellent for Super Battle Road. Super Battle Road. Uh, look how much stacks he's getting based on the amount of enemies that you're fighting against. So if you guys have been struggling on Extreme Super Battle Road or Super Battle Road, this Bojack might be your key to victory. So good luck with the, your summons, guys. Now, he also does a transformation into full 
power Bojack. He can transform when facing one enemy starting from the fourth turn of battle, which is not bad. He has a transformation and boom, he becomes full power Bojack where he gets three key attack and defense plus one eight percent launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Attack plus eight percent and defense plus fifteen percent when attacking with three or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus eight percent and defense plus fifteen percent when attacking with six or more key spheres obtained. So try and put him alongside a character which can give him all the keys that he needs. A rainbow key sphere changer will help out or a strength type key sphere changer would help out quite a lot because uh, I do think uh, Zangia is good but they should have probably given an awakening to Bido or Bujin, one of the other guys. Um, but yeah, he's a decent, great, great, char great character. Absolutely amazing. So he's quite similar to Kula because he raises attack and defense. Uh, I mean, sorry, he stacks attack here. He gets a massive boost here. And then uh, he does all of this great stuff with key spheres. Um, people say, is he better than Kula? No, I'd still say Kula is better because Kula has got an amazing team. This guy's got a gigantic team, an amazing team as well. But if you guys manage to pull LR Turles and you have Kula and you have this guy, amazing. You, you probably have the best team in the game. I'm, I'm not even joking. Probably have the best team in the game uh, on the global side of the game if you manage to pull this guy and you have Kula and you have Turles you're going to be smashing every event so uh for the timeline of events guys we're going to be going ahead and checking out his timeline of events so we're going to have bojack coming out along with zangia and the awakening for hachiak and angel weiss so those guys are getting the awakening after god knows how many years uh but they awaken into i mean they were trash units before awakening and then they awaken into trash units so i i, I don't know i, I don't know and then we're going to get the Explosive Chain Battle for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth and the Extreme Z Awakening for Gogeta. Yeah, Gogeta's Extreme Z Awakening is coming. That's why I'm going to start link leveling this guy already. This guy gets an amazing Extreme Z Battle and uh, his weakness is movie bosses. Physical movie bosses. Bring your Broly's guys. Bring your Broly's. Uh, go ahead and smash this out. And then here's a look at Gogeta's Extreme Z Awakening. Three key, 130% stats. For int types, extreme types get 90% stats. Raises defense for one turn, causes mint damage, and lowers attack and defense, which is great. He gets a 30% increase for one turn. And then attack and defense plus 120% effective against all types. Median chance of evading enemies attack, including a super attack with one or more rainbow key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 40% with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. High chance of performing critical hit with three or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So you want to give this guy rainbow key spheres. He's begging for rainbow key spheres. So put him alongside that um, Gotenks. Um, the uh, the Gotenks. Uh, I think it's the Super Coast Gotenks. The Halloween special Gotenks. He's amazing. Uh, put him some. Uh, put some rainbow key sphere changes alongside with him, and you'll be doing great. And then we got the Extreme Z Awakenings as well for this. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku. We need. I need to see more Super Saiyan Blue Gokus in Dokkan. If you guys want to see more Super Saiyan Blue Gokus in Dokkan, please do let me know. But yeah, this guy becomes ridiculous. Attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. Attack and defense plus 59% for all allies. Chance of performing a quick hit plus 7%. And attack plus 20%. When they're only Rumble Claws the allies attacking in the same turn. So performing the critical hit, all allies. He, he's given all allies this 59% and 7% crit. This is amazing. So this this is amazing. So he's amazing. If you're if you're fighting against Realm of God's enemies, this guy is ridiculous. And his stats when he's easy aid are pretty good as well. Pretty good as well. Uh, 16, 16, 10, not bad. Let, let's look at Gogeta's stats when he's easier. 18, 19, 10, not bad, not bad at all. And then uh, we've also got the awakening for this uh, Tech Goku who becomes kind of a, he's okay. He's a rainbow key sphere changer, so we do we do need that. But he changes rainbow to tech. So, uh, you know, we need rainbow key spheres on the field instead of him changing them, but yeah. Uh, he gets attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense 59% All allies get a 7% chance to crit when they're only tech type ally. Uh, so yeah, 
Uh, he gives uh, s substantial buffs to uh, your team when there's more tech types on your team. So you kind of want a full tech type team here. So he gives that boost of 59% attack and defense and 7% chance to crit when there's tech types. Meanwhile, this other Goku, he works off of yeah, a Realm of Gods category allies attacking in the same turn. Yeah, so put this guy on a Realm of Gods team, put this guy on a full tech type team. Amazing. So here's the proof, guys, uh, for the Bojack. There is says it right there. Let me go ahead and open that for you. There's the Bojack. Yeah, he's in the game. And then there's his Awakening. And all that great stuff. So he's in the game. So guys, uh, on the... We're going to be getting him on the 1st, which is a Monday, on the 1st for us in the UK. Uh, same thing. Monday Monday for everyone. Monday for everyone. It's just going to be a different timeline, uh, but it's just going to be the same day. Within the same... It's always in the same time period it activates. Uh, it could be a Sunday for you guys or it could be a Monday. It's going to be in the midnight or it's going to be in the day. So uh, Sunday or Monday. It could be before midnight or in the day, but there you go. On the 28th, or the first for us in the UK, we'll be getting Dokkan Festival Bojack. Good luck to you guys on your summons. Please do let me know in the comment section down below. Are you going to be summoning for Bojack? Um, or are you going to keep on cranking out summons for saying for Gogeta? If you guys haven't pulled in, good luck. And then, yeah, please do let me know if you're interested in more. And stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be doing some... Dragon Ball Legends summons for the Kid Buu banner and hopefully we see that brand new Broly come around soon But yeah, anyways guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you guys stay tuned to my Dokkan Battle videos I'll see you guys on the next Dokkan Battle uh, upload and make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy today's video. Peace out. Have a good wonderful Friday I'll see you guys on the next video